It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. I'm on location in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm going to have to stand. That's too high. Oh, that's much better. So, let's see. Yesterday was Sunday. It was the season opener for volleyball. And we went out. And our first opponent, we beat the hell out of him. We won 25-19 and 25-15. I had the game-winning kill in the first game. I had two service aces. I played pretty well. It was fantastic. So then we had two games against another team, and then we'd be done for the night. So in the first game, we're trailing, I don't know, 11-8. to And uh, our right side goes up for a joust with their left side. Left side goes under the net. And when our right side guy lands on the ground, he lands his foot right on the other guy's foot and turns his ankle. Now yesterday we actually had an extra player. We had an extra woman. So the way that the league works is always four men and two women on the court at the same time. So if you have an extra man or woman, they sub in, but only for their own men or for their own women. So we had an extra woman. Now the rules, the way the rules work, we had, means we still had six players, so we couldn't have a substitute man come in and play for our team because we still had six players. That has priority. So now we have three women and three men. And uh, being that the guy we lost was probably our best player, it made a big difference in our game. We lost that game like 25 to 17, and then the next game we fell behind 12 nothing before losing 25 to 9. It's pretty embarrassing, but there just wasn't much we could do. Not to mention that our hearts were distracted by the fact that our best player, our teammate, was injured and sitting on the side of the court with two bags of ice, one on opposite sides of his ankle. We're off next week. He has two weeks to get better, but I don't think he's going to be better anytime soon. Some people say that they heard a pop. So I don't know what that means for our team. Maybe they'll make a trade to balance out the league. I don't know how that stuff works. But it kind of takes the wind out of your sails when you lose opening night. I'm probably regarded as the best player on the team now, which I don't think is fair, but, you know, I'm the tallest and I'm a white guy, so I think that probably means something. The captain said to me, you know, he wanted to make sure that I wasn't down, that we lost the other two games so badly. But even though I'm very competitive, I'm not stupid. And I was like, you know, these things happen, and, you know, we'll get them next time. Oh, by the way, I may not be here for our next game on the 6th because of being going to Germany. So, <laughs> but I've still got the rest of the season to prove my worth and every team makes the playoffs just like in my hockey league so that's really when we have to start playing well and really if you're going to lose your best player you want to lose him at the beginning of the season because it gives you time to develop chemistry with whomever is left on the team afterward if your best player gets hurt at the end of the season then you have to have someone plug in at the last minute like what happened with the New England Patriots in 2009 although Julian Edelman did do a good job for Wes Walker against the Baltimore Ravens even though they lost. Other than that, oh yes, I went to San Francisco, watched the NFC Championship game at my friend Rachel's house. That apartment has the best view ever. She lives in the sunset and it's just damn beautiful. And there was frittata and potatoes and Star Wars themed pancakes and some brown rice, jasmine brown rice pudding that my girlfriend made. She didn't go, but I brought that. And I uh, watched the game. Oh, there were scones, four different kinds of scones and uh, three different cats, including me too, who sat on my lap. So there's just lots of fun to go around. And then after that, my friend Gordon and I watched the AFC Championship game at another friend of our houses, Chris. And we visited Chris, and I watched the first half, and then I had to go home to Erie for volleyball, but he stayed for the whole game. And uh, for those of you who waited till the last minute and picked up Pittsburgh plus four, or uh, New York Jets plus four and a half, it almost worked out for you, I have to say. But, uh, you know, you can't win them all. I think the line's already minus three for the Super Bowl, Green Bay Packers over Pittsburgh. I got them at minus two and a half, and I'll probably play back some three and a half or four. But uh, I don't know what the line's going to do between now and then. I think it's going to stay pretty close to three. But I don't see a lot of money going on Pittsburgh, especially with Pouncey, or however way you pronounce it, being injured. I think it's a pretty safe bet that most of the money's going to be on Green Bay. So if you want Green Bay, you should probably bet it now. That's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.